Hey, this is Kyle from Skiers Realm, and uh, we're here today at Snow Basin doing a review on the new Moment Death Wish for 2013. Uh, it's a 112 underfoot ski, and the cool thing about this is it has their new Dirty Mustache Rocker, which what that means is you got camber underfoot, then goes into rocker on the outside of the bindings, then some more camber right up the tips, and then finally you got your early rise tip and tail rocker. This ski was awesome. It, uh, you know, really there wasn't anything it didn't perform in, I thought. The, uh, super easy to ski, super fun. Uh, I could bounce around on it, slash, uh, carved like a mother. It's crazy. Um, in the pow, you know, like I said, easy to throw up some snow, uh, butter around. When I hit the groomers, all, basically all I had to do was lean on my side a little bit, and it was carving. Uh, it was on rails. It was awesome. The, uh, I think the mustache, the dirty mustache rocker really helps the ski a ton. I'd say that they're, it might feel a little heavy in the swing weight. Um, I have these, they're demo, they're uh, center mounted. It was a little slow at first, but it was definitely something I got used to. Uh, we took it into some pretty thick brush and trees and we're bouncing around at pretty good speeds. And uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's too slow. I just think, uh, you know, at first it takes a little getting used to, but once you get it, the swing weight, uh, you get it dialed and you can take it through anything, tight trees, big wide open turns. Uh, the thing will just mob for you for whatever you point it at. This ski was definitely stable at high and low speeds. That was actually one of the first things I noticed was uh, I could basically just stand flat footed over it and you know, the edges didn't really catch or anything. I could just go uh, and I really like that in a ski especially when you're you know traversing on those cat tracks at the end of a you know, run out off piece or something uh, cons I don't really know if there are any I would definitely recommend this ski to anyone who's trying to uh, fill that space uh, for a ski to ride every day and I think they'd be happy with it so